so I've got this thought that there's only so much combustible material that's fuel quality on the planet. And what if someday we realize that for all the achievements of this planet to continue to be known, we'll need a certain amount of fuel to get us to Alpha Centauri or something and, and, and start again. Maybe asteroids are coming, maybe the sun is growing into the earth, whatever it is, right? And I have this thought that no one will have done the calculation of how much fuel that requires until after we've already spent so much that we just don't have enough anymore. And they go, oh yeah, I guess that option expired. I have no idea how many minutes I'm gonna be alive. And I wanna scrum it. I wanna get as much done as possible with quality in that time. So I'm always evaluating with every minute is what I'm doing something I'd be proud of, something that lives up to whatever my standard is that I'm continually trying to figure out and refine. And uh, am I doing it as fast as I can with quality? I think the reason Wikispeed is scaled is because the legitimate sense of humility that comes to all of us working in it. Some days I'm the only one here. Some days I'm not even here. I'm at a client site, someone else is here. And some days there's 50 people here and 50 people in 20 other shops around the world. Maybe it's because some days it's still just me. It's easy to stay humble and be completely ecstatic that anyone showed up at all. And that's exactly the emotion that overflows about the fact that this has become, in some ways, really small still, and in some ways, huge. Is just being completely grateful anybody came at all. And when it's a whole bunch of people, that's just a really nice group feeling of gratitude. And that's self-fueling and helps keep it sustainable. 